Colorado man has done something that has not been achieved in 47 years. Craig Lenning completed a 30-mile swim from the Farallon Islands to Muir Beach last night. He's in his mid-30s. It was a treacherous swim that lasted nearly 16 hours. ABC 7 News reporter Leanne Melendez talked to Lenning about his passion, and she joins us now from the newsroom. Leanne. Yay, Cheryl. Unbelievable, isn't it? Now, Craig Lenning is 34 years old. He has done this a few times, but this one had to be the most challenging. He started at 6 in the morning and completed the swim by 10 at night. And this was a, this was a tough one. How else would you describe swimming in these rough waters around the Farallon Islands to Muir Beach? Craig Lenning trained for over a year. He and a Bay Area group called the Night Train Swimmers left yesterday at 6 in the morning. First, he had to deal with the tides and currents along the 30-mile stretch. These are also shark-infested waters. If they had spotted a great white, the plan was to immediately get him out of the water. From what I know about great whites, they'll, they'll come in and maybe give you a test bite. Good luck with that. Yeah, so I, again, I don't think they would have come after me. He swims without a wetsuit, but applies plenty of grease to retain some of the body heat. During his swim, he ran into a school of brownish jellyfish, darker and bigger than your typical ones. One had come up and it, it took a stroke and it wrapped around my arm and just got me. And then when I came back to, on my stroke, it landed on my leg. Lenning says he is successful because he is laser focused and doesn't worry about what may be swimming beneath him. Now the Farallons are, it's a very special place and if you don't stay calm, just that stress will, will wear you down. That's why now only three people have done it. The last one in 1967. He was just about 800 meters from the shore when he got stuck in an eddy. By now, it was almost 10 at night. It was dark and foggy, but he made it. This one was the biggest one I've ever done just because the, the mystique of it and the, the cold and the, the magical islands off the coast. So, Well, just, high five, you did it. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. He has done 11 so far around the world. After swimming this stretch, he is now considered one of the best marathon swimmers around. And you know, he doesn't use any sunscreen on his hands uh, because then he says it gets on his goggles and he can't see. He eats every 30 minutes a protein drink, carbs and water. He says he may do this maybe for two more years because it's hard on the body. In the newsroom, Leanne Melendez, ABC 7 News.